Okay, we have Laura Kennedy and Winnie Schiff. Laura is from NYSART, and Win Winnie is Associate as Executive Director for Legislative Affairs, Interagency Council of Developmental Disabilities Agencies. And she's a good friend to our office, so has taught us an awful lot. Thank you. Well, good morning. Good morning. My name is Laura Kennedy, and I'm the parent of a young woman, Julia, with a developmental disability, and president of NYSARC. And on behalf of the families of NYSARC, I want to thank Assemblywoman Gunther for the opportunity to testify today regarding the inadequate services and supports for people with developmental disabilities in New York State. NYSARC is the largest family-governed organization serving people with intellectual and other developmental disabilities and their families. Through our 48 operating chapters, we serve approximately 60,000 people, providing a full range of day residential and employment services. 66 years ago, NYSARC was founded by families with children with developmental disabilities. They had nothing. They were home or they were in institutions. And at that time, there were few, if any, opportunities for residential housing and services. But those families believed their children could learn and they could be vital parts of their community. Our agency and other agencies in New York State have had that partnership that was described earlier that worked over six decades to build the system that is the best in our nation. And by that system, right now, is eroding, and that must be stopped. We developed programs that met the needs of children. We built them day by day with bringing in experts and uh, working with government to uh, build on those programs. Uh, there's nothing here that should ever be apologized for, because as we know, when we have special education meetings, Parents understand their children best, and that philosophy has been built in the services that New York State now has uh, been a model for the rest of the country. And I just want to go back, because I think a lot of this erosion, and, and I agree with all of the, I have four key uh, points that uh, need to be addressed, residential, direct support professionals, uh, employment, and early intervention in preschool, so I won't read my testimony. I, shared that with you in depth and it mirrors what has been said. We can't lose sight of that. But back in 1975, Governor Hugh Carey directed New York State to partner with families. That was a direction. That partnership embedded in a contract called the Willowbrook Consent Judgment and that provided for the residential opportunities and a host of other services that we know and enjoy today. That was a commitment by New York State. In 1987, the closing of Willowbrook State School, Governor Mario Cuomo reaffirmed the state's promise to a commitment of care to people with developmental disabilities. My daughter is an example of that commitment. And in the late 1990s, Governor George Pataki created New York State Cares, a robust residential program that met the needs of individuals and their families. And unfortunately, New York State's commitment appears to be waning and its promise is in the breach. That's the feeling families are getting. The families across the state sense that this administration may have lost its focus and commitment to the people of all ages with developmental disabilities. And I know firsthand, my daughter's 33, there, there weren't all these regulations and barriers and doors. I was embraced with a preschool program under family court, and then preschool, and then school age. And then during that time, OPWDD was my friend in the community. Someone came right away to my house to tell me all about it. And maybe you need a little respite, and how about some recreation? And as a mother of four, this was a blessing. It wasn't a closed door, or an open door, or a disco, or whatever. It was people like, you, like Jim said. Someone who really knows what they're doing, they care, and we got those services. And thank goodness, because my whole family today, all my daughters are uh, giving back to their community because our family had the help. We didn't have doors, we had supports. And that's what NYSARC has been all about. And I want to say that the late assembly, Elizabeth Conley, who I believe was the first chair of this committee, her philosophy was never let people with developmental disabilities be forgotten and that their needs were met. And so I thank you, Chair Gunther, for continuing in that spirit to hold these hearings, to listen to us, and uh, it, it will make all the difference. We need the kind of uh, 
roundtable discussion that you just described to get back to where we were. Mm -hmm. it, it wasn't a perfect system, it wasn't broken, but it met the needs of families. And uh, we need to revisit, we have all these problems, but I think it goes back to everyone's attitude, focus, and commitment. And if we can go back and see what's driving the incompetence, I think we'll get back to where we were for the families today. Uh, it's a blessing in our community, to, as you know, uh, all of you on this committee, that people get what they need. Mm -hmm. We built a menu of services, both educationally and uh, for post-graduation, that makes people viable in the community. And you know, the Ulsted uh, decision has been used against us, not for us. So we need to revisit exactly as was said prior, how that is done. So again, residential services, opportunities to work in the community and be in that lovely environment that you described, because I see that all over the state. People having lunch with their peers and really getting a paycheck and still learning and growing. There's nothing wrong with that. No apologies with this. So I will not uh, labor, because we do have many, many speakers, but I just want to say that uh, for over 40 years, we've been a leader in the DD field. We need to reaffirm our commitment. It's the right thing to do, and frankly, it's the only thing to do. So thank you for your support for this. Thank you. Okay. Um, I, too, thank you, Assemblymember Gunther, very much for holding uh, this 